They're well known for being man's best friend, but a growing number of dogs in Poole have been reported as strays. Last year, dog wardens like Nicky Cooper caught 256 strays in the borough, some of which were unable to be reunited with their owners. She explains how owners can ensure their pets are returned to them safely. In 2016, it's going to become a legal requirement to have your dog microchipped. Um, and the reason we support that is because all vets and rescue centres and dog wardens like myself carry a scanner. So as soon as we pick a dog up, dog up, we'll scan it, see if it's got a microchip on it. If it has, then we can contact the owner straight away. Microchips dramatically increase the likelihood of Nikki and her colleagues getting in touch with a dog's owner. If they can't be reunited, they're sent to a sanctuary like this one, the Margaret Green Animal Rescue Centre in Blandford. There are always a lot of strays. Um, at the moment, we're seeing anything between five and ten strays every week, and sometimes more, and that's just at this centre at Lincoln Farm. It's really, really important to have your dog or cat microchipped. Um, it means that we can identify their owner. So usually a dog will be brought to us by a dog warden. When they arrive, we would immediately do a health check and assess them and just scan them for any microchips or look for any other identifiable features like a name or number on a collar and that kind of thing. This has been Ollie Hill reporting for Buzz News in Blanford.